Hi everyone, welcome to today's Tupperware and Beyond. Uh, I'm Sherry, I'm a Tupperware consultant. Thanks for visiting my channel. Uh, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video. Uh, but I have a new Dash appliance to show you. If you've uh, checked out my channel, you'll see that I have a couple other Dash appliances um, that I did some videos on. Um, I, I really like the Dash appliances. Um, this is the Double Up Skillet and Oven, it's called. It opens, it opens all the way up. The only thing that I kind of don't like is that you can't stop it like right here if you just want to use the, the bottom plate to cook on. It, it's designed to open all the way so you have flat out cooking. The top plate has rapid heat and it heats to about 360 degrees. The bottom plate gets to about 340. Each plate is a half an inch deep, so when it's closed, you have an inch of cooking space, which lets uh, the you know heat circulate and cook your food more evenly. Uh, it's nice for homemade pizzas with that rising crust. You have that extra room in there, so uh, unless you make it real thick, your crust, your cheese won't you know touch your top plate. Top plate being uh, the rapid heat and going to 360 degrees, it's going to nicely brown your cheese or your meat or whatever you're, you're cooking in here. Um, this does a 12 egg frittata, a 12 inch frozen pizza, eight to nine cookies at a time. Um, Cause you know, you, gotta, you wanna have it closed so you have that oven effect. Um, or one giant cookie. Uh, you can do breakfast in it, do your meats on the hotter side, the upper plate and do your breakfast foods like your pancakes, your eggs, and your french toast uh, or your home fries in this side. If you're only cooking for one or two people, do everything on the bottom plate and close it up and use it as like the uh, like an oven that you have, you know, heat coming from top and bottom. So today I am going to make a frozen pizza, but my frozen pizza is now thawed because I had so many issues trying to make this video. So now it, it thawed. So we are going to make a, a thawed frozen pizza. So it just won't take as long. So I'm going to close this up and I do want to show you, I, I did have it on because I was trying to make the video before, uh, so it is a little hot. but. Um, there's two indicator lights, a red one and a green one. As it's heating, the red one will, will illuminate, and then when it comes to temperature, the green one illuminates. And then you know it's, it's ready uh, to be cooked on. So I'm gonna get this plugged in. And let it, it shouldn't take super long to heat up. While that's heating up, I wanna tell you a little bit about the book that comes with it. I am amazed as how many recipes come with this and you have the colored pictures that tell you about the, the different parts uh, and how to use it. Uh, but the recipes, there's so many recipes in here. So half, over half the book is recipes. That's, that's amazing. These days you don't get recipes and a nice instruction book like you do with the Dash appliances. Uh, Tuscan frittata, that is, it takes a dozen eggs. Uh, you have breakfast sandwiches, twice baked potatoes, steak fajitas, apple dutch baby, classic chocolate chunk cookie cake. These are all from scratch recipes. Uh, they're customer service. Uh, I never had to use it, but uh, from what I see, they have a really good customer service. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I just, I really like my Dash appliances. Uh, the, it's big, I'll tell you that. It is, it's big, especially when you open up. But you can, this is flat here, so you can stand it up and then it, it has a, a, a smaller profile, which takes up a lot less room than having to store it laid out like this. So that's a really nice feature. You could easily keep it like in between like the refrigerator and the microwave or just, you know, on the small end of your counter or in your cupboard. Um, 
This would be good for a dorm room or like a camper, but you have to remember, you have to be able to have the, the space to open it up. You're talking two foot to two foot of space to just to have it open. So it might be a little too big and bulky for a small space, but um, I, you know, if you can make it work, make it work because this thing's awesome. Uh, you can do so much on it. But, um, okay, well, see that didn't take long at all. It's heated up already. So I'm going to open this. And you have to be very careful because it's really hot. I have to have it at the end of the table here because it has such a short cord on it. Um, okay, so here's my pizza. This is going to be a trick because it's not frozen anymore. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Non-stick surface, so you don't have to worry about it sticking. And I can hear it sizzling already, and I'm going to close that up. And now since it is thawed, I'm going to do, I'm going to just start with five minutes. Uh, because you can always add time, you can't take time away. And so we'll start with five minutes and we'll see where it's at in five minutes. So I will see you in five minutes. Okay, the timer went off, it's been about five minutes. And the cheese is nice and melty, but I want it to get a little browner. And it's, it's getting brown on the bottom, but I think I'm gonna put it in for another, another three minutes. And we'll see you back in three minutes. Okay, it's been another three minutes. Let's check it out. I think it looks absolutely perfect, but if you like it browner, then leave it in until you get your cheese brown. Um, let's see, let's check the bottom. The bottom's nice and crispy. But I think I'm gonna let it in another two minutes just to get a little bit of browning on the top. There we go. See you in two minutes. Okay, it's been another two minutes and now I think it's, it's, uh, it's really good. So it was five to initially start and then I did another three and then I did did another two so that was um, 10 minutes total but you have to also figure I was opening it letting the heat escape so if you do it for 10 minutes straight uh, I would I would check it after like eight minutes um, depending on how brown you want your your cheese but eight to ten minutes I think is a good time uh, for this was a thawed a thawed frozen pizza. So with the frozen pizza, go the whole 10 minutes. You may need to add two or three more minutes to that. Uh, but it, it won't take long with the heat this gives off. It won't take long um, for your pizza to thaw and cook. So let me get this unplugged. And be very careful, the plates are very hot. So I just have a, a, a pizza pan here that I covered in foil so I have something to cut it on. Because you don't want to cut inside of this because the non-stick surface, uh, you, you will um, scratch it and you don't want to scratch it. But no, look, no sticking. The cheese that did come off and melt, it just, it, it scrapes right off. Um, this thing's awesome. So let me close this up. And there you have the pizza. Now, let it sit for, a, for just a, a couple minutes um, to finish cooking and so your cheese doesn't completely slide off of it and cut it and enjoy. So thanks, I hope you really like this video. I plan on doing a lot more with this. Uh, like I said, I have had it for a little while. Um, if you watched any of my other videos, I made um, Italian chicken on the Dash Mini Griddle. Uh, well, I was... Uh, hosting an event and I wanted to make the Italian chicken 
and of course the hat was way too small so I used this but I had it open I used it open and I cooked on both sides and it was it was really good and it didn't take long to get done I, yeah please like and subscribe the video um, and we'll subscribe to my channel <laughs> like the video and subscribe to my channel uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'm a little rusty. It's been a, it's been a little while with everything going on and preparing to to be homebound. Um, I didn't really get any videos done, so I'm a little rusty at it. But thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye.